Hello my lovely people. Learning target for today is I can learn to copy an array. So let's get started and look into a few different ways that we can copy an array. Let's start by copying an array with the basic um, concept that you have been knowing so far as using a loop. Now in order for us to copy an array using a loop, the first we need to have an array. So let's take an array and let's call it as values and uh, let's initialize it with some values. Now that we have our initial array and we need to make a copy of this array. How do I do that? So the first step I need to do is create another array. So I'm going to call it as new values. And, and in here, the size of the array here is going to be my values.land because I'm making a copy of this array. So in here, instead of saying 5 or 10 or 20, I'm just going to say values.length. Spelling mistake. Now I'm going to use my for loop. Just like traditionally we have been using in class. And now I'm going to take the value of my old array that's values and I'm going to assign those values into my new array that's called as new values. So my new values at index i is going to have a value from our old array that's values and index i. So what we're doing in here is we're taking the value of our old array at index i and assigning that value to your new array at index i. So this is how you're copying the array. So now if you want to check to see if both the arrays are printing correctly, you can always do that. Let's print. Let's do print, not print len. And we want to print values. Of course, we need a loop. I'm just going to copy it from here. Spelling mistake again. Okay, now let's compile it. Okay. Okay, now let's print. Not a good idea. Let's do some formatting. So in here, I'm going to add a space. Now let's, so our array is being printed in here. Now if you want to compare the old array with the real array, you can actually print the old array too. So I'm just going to copy and paste in here and instead of, uh, we're going to say new values. So in here I'm going to print my value for the old arrays, that's values, and I'm going to print my new array, that's the copied array values in here. Compile it. Now, we need a line in between those two. So, I'm going to just put a blank line. I'm just going to print a blank line in here. So, this is my old array. This is my new array. Now, it doesn't look good. Of course, you can format it and you can print it as label it. And then same thing with here. 
Trending new array called new values. Uh, so when you're printing, you could always print in a statement in here that says print old array, print new array. Say for example like this. Run it again and see. Okay, this is our array one values. This is our values 10, 9, 8, 6, and 7. And our new array called as new values and the same values. So we have copied successfully the value from an old array into the new array.